In color grading, middle gray serves a crucial reference point that simplifies contrast adjustments and minimizes the need for constant tweaks. By setting mid-gray correctly, colorists can achieve a balanced look with greater ease and consistency. I've created this detail, it's free for download. After loading the detail, choose a transform that matches your camera footage. For example, if you're working with Arilog C3, pick Arilog C3 from the drop-down. Now let's have a look at the waveform monitor. You'll see a distinct rectangle at the exact IRE level where your log footage expects middle gray to be. Now you know precisely where mid gray sits for your camera's log curve. Once you know your footage's mid gray IRE, set your contrast pivot to that level. That way, when you adjust contrast, it pivots around your camera's true mid gray. Many DPs use a middle gray reference to expose faces, which ensures a consistent baseline across multiple shots. You are essentially matching what the DP established on set. That means skin tones and other important areas that fall around mid-gray remains at a similar brightness and color balance shot to shot. This cuts down on the time you spend readjusting exposure and color for faces in different scenes and keeps your footage looking cohesive. You can download the middle gray detail from my website. It's free. There you will also find more information about middle gray and how this detail works. To deepen your understanding of middle gray and its role in color grading, I've linked a few helpful videos on my site. So have fun with the tool. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Have a great day and see you next time.